In this example, Brian needs 10 cups of fruit juice to make sangria. How many quarts of juice should he buy at the grocery store? So what we're looking for ultimately is a relationship between 10 cups and quarts. So let's write that here. Actually, let's do this. Let's say 10 cups equals how many quarts. All right, so let's start with cups and let's see if we can get from cups to quarts in as few steps as possible. So I have 10 cups over 1 times I'm going to work with the relationship between cups and pints. I know that 1 pint is 2 cups and I know that 1 quart is two pints. So this should get us from cups to quarts fairly quickly. So there's cups going away and there's pints going away. So let's see what we have left to multiply. 10 times 1 times 1 is 10. The denominator, 2 times 2 is 4. I have 10 over 4 quarts and if I make that into a mixed number, that's 4 goes into 10 two times, leaving 2 over the remainder, two, remainder of 2 over the denominator of 4, 2 and 2 fourths quarts, that's 2 and a half quarts. I doubt that Brian is going to be able to go to the store and buy 2 and a half quarts, but that is the relationship between 10 cups and quarts. So I think that for Brian, his best bet would be to buy three quarts of juice at the store.